Hey guys, this is Charlie and I'm going to walk you through how I groom a dog from start to finish. He is very scraggly and long overdue for some grooming, so let's get him started. The first thing I like to do when I'm grooming any dog is start by trimming their nails. I like to do it this way, that way we can kind of take a moment to familiarize ourselves. The dog gets a chance to know me, I get a chance to know the dog, figure out what they are and aren't comfortable with. Also, especially for beginners, if you start by trimming the nails, you happen to trim it too short, it gets a little bloody, you can wash it off during the bath. The tool I'm using is called a nail grinder or nail buffer. You can do this after you trim the nails to get the nails a little shorter and a little smoother. And now it's time for the bath. We're gonna get them all soaked and wet with some nice lukewarm water. And now I'm using our Blueberry Facial Tearless Shampoo to lather up his face. It really helps clear out all the eye gunk that they build up and helps clear out those tear stains. I like to wash the face first, that way it can sit on the dog for a few minutes and really work in and clean that face. And now it's time to lather him up in some shampoo. I am using our brightening shampoo just because he was really dirty and I really wanted to bring his coat back to life, restore some shine to it and really thoroughly clean him. So you'll notice I'm really scrubbing. I want to get all the dirt off his coat. And don't forget to clean out the paws as well. You really want to get inside, get all the dirt out. And you'll notice that I typically work in this pattern of going from one side to the next. So I have his left side of his body all lathered up and now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the right side of his body. And I always go from front to back as well. And I'm really scrubbing those paws to make sure they're clean because they get dirty the most since that's what they're constantly walking on. And don't forget the tail. Now I'm going to just kind of rinse it off, not completely. I like to do this with all of my dogs and that is double washing them. If you guys are coming in to get your dogs clean, I wanna make sure you're getting your money's worth and I'm really going to thoroughly clean them. So after the first rinse, I'm going to do another one. And I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes. So while it's sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and brush his teeth. I always like to do the teeth brushing during the bath. I kind of feel like they're already distracted with me giving them a bath if they don't have too much time to really think about the fact that I'm brushing their teeth because it's not always their favorite. Um, plus it just gives me something to do while the shampoo is sitting on them. And now we're gonna go ahead and rinse off this coat thoroughly. And again, I'm going to move from front to back, that way any of the water I'm rinsing off, it's not getting any more shampoo back on his body, if that makes sense. And I always rinse the face last because whenever you rinse a dog's face, they are guaranteed to shake. So I always rinse the face last, that way when they shake, they're already, already rinsed off. And once they are all rinsed off, it is time to towel dry them. You're just gonna go ahead and try to get as much water off as you can. You notice I almost like squeeze their body to kind of wring them out almost. <laughs> And now it's time to blow dry him. You'll notice I have a happy hoodie on him. That just kind of helps um, mute the sound of the blow dryer if it stresses them out. One of the reasons it's so important to cut on a clean coat is once their coat is clean and blow dried, it is all even out and fluffy, the same length. So when you're going to trim it, it comes out much smoother and an overall even cut. And now I'm going to use the Artero Slicker Brush to give him a good brush out. Um, we're gonna do, be doing a little bit of a longer length on his body, so I wanna make sure he doesn't have any tangles. They don't always like it, they're gonna throw tantrums, but at the end of the day, this is part of their daily lives, so they have to be brushed. And you'll notice sometimes people like to peek in and say hello or watch what I'm doing. Part of grooming is just kind of working under pressure, so be ready for that. When I start the actual haircut process, I like to do their sanitary area first. That's just kind of what I was taught when I was getting trained and it just kind of stuck. So I do the sanitary and then I move on to the paw pads and I get all that hair out that's underneath their paws. And it's one of my favorite parts. It's so satisfying to see their cute little paws. Next, we're going to be moving on to the body. I'm using a zero guard comb, which is a little bit longer than half an inch. And see how smoothly it comes off on that clean coat? It's like butter. Now, unfortunately, my camera didn't get the part of me actually trimming up the face, so maybe I can save that for another video. But here, I'm just kind of rounding up his ears. 
And the head is always a little bit longer than the body, typically, totally preference. Um, but I usually do a two to three lengths longer depending on the style they want. And then I'm gonna trim around his eyes a little bit, really make sure he can see. And most importantly, you gotta blend. Because the head is usually a little bit longer than the body, you really wanna make sure you are using some thinning shears to blend the back of his head and his neck where that connects so it blends smoothly. So you can't really see that defined cut of where it gets longer. And I always trim the face first before I finish the rest of the body because as you have seen, people like to watch. Owners always wanna come and check in and it makes the dogs really excited and they move around a lot. So I like to have the face done already in case that scenario happens. And now I'm just gonna put on his little festive bandana so he's ready for the holidays. And then the final touches, I'm going to be cleaning out his ears. I get questions about this all the time. I just use some cotton balls and some pet friendly ear cleaner and I swab the ears out until they are clean. And then I'm gonna be using some pet friendly um, breath spray to go in the mouth to so make sure their breath is minty fresh and then they get a dog-friendly cologne to top it off. Here are the final results. Charlie is a whole new dog. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.